Hello everyone, this is Coach Carlos, the Special Needs Fitness Guru. I am the owner of Special Needs Fun, which is Fitness Sports Karate Inc. That all the information is going to be under this uh, link right here of this video. This video is for the UM NSU card community, okay? And we're going to be doing today a very awesome workout. It's going to be a circuit training, total body workout with cardio and some neuro fitness. Now, there's different levels. We're not gonna be doing the high intensity level, no. This is low intensity, okay? And the purpose of doing this workout is so you can see, and I'm gonna show you real quick, you don't have to invest any money. This is preferably can be done outdoors. If you can't do this outdoors, either in your backyard, by the poolside of your condo, or even at the beach, or at a park, of course you can do this indoors. You don't need that much equipment, the key to it is for it to be fun and to be basically inexpensive. If not, you don't, you don't really need to spend any money. So I'll give you an example. Cones, I love using cones. If you don't have cones, you can use water bottles. Preferably with water, because it has, it has a little bit of weight. If you don't want to have it with water, save the water bottles and you, that's perfectly fine, as long as it's not windy. Water bottles can replace these little cones. Luckily for me, fortunate for me, I have the cones. Now, for parents, caretakers, and therapists, you can learn this and you can teach your clients or the individual you take care of or your kids. Special needs kids, special needs individuals of all ages, by the way, you can show them how to do this, you can do this with them, you can shadow them. Uh, there are some individuals with special needs that may not have the complete ability to do these simple workouts when I'm gonna show you real quick you can shadow them let's get started the first thing we're gonna do and I'm gonna put my mask on I hope by the way I hope everyone is doing fine and making out okay with the whole COVID-19 we're all gonna get through this together so again go to my link special needs fun okay every all the information is in the bottom of the screen that's on Instagram and of course my YouTube channel, Special Needs Fitness Guru. All right, and the reason it's Special Needs Fun is because that's the whole point of this whole thing. It needs to be fun. So we're gonna do, first of all, a warm-up. Total body warm-up. Warm-ups should be about two to three minutes. Keep it simple. So this is a chop, right here. You chop. I really wanna thank UMNSU Card for giving me the opportunity to do this special video uh, for the entire community. This is a public service. Okay, so I'm doing the chops. So now I'm gonna do side raises, okay? Very simple, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can shadow your kids, you can shadow your special needs client, just to let you know. So these are side raises. Now, rainbows. These are rainbows. Arm rotators. And let me show you how they go. Make sure it goes reverse backwards. Not this way, not good for the shoulders, this way. Do knee raises. Let's get a little bit of the midsection. I emphasize midsection, you're gonna see a couple of them. Again, what's awesome about this is there's really no equipment involved. Like you really don't need to, you don't really need any kind of equipment. So now the last one, we'll do a, uh, a nice little stretch. Waist bend, 15 seconds minimum, 30 seconds max. Now we are ready. All right, so I'm gonna show you the first workout we're gonna do. We're gonna, I, I like to start off before I do the supersets with a little bit of cardio. Now, for some of you, uh, for some special needs individuals, they can't run, so they have to walk. So I'm gonna show you a couple of, uh, I'm gonna do a little run sprint. This is from this cone to the other one. If you don't have cones, you can use water bottles. Okay, I'm gonna show you. You can do a, a, a run sprint and a fast walk or a walk. So check this out. This is for cardio. Do the walking. So what's awesome about this is there's alternatives. You walk. 
So we did the warm up. Now we're going into the cardio. If you are working out, you shouldn't be wearing your mask because it will deprive you of oxygen. That's a very proven scientific fact. So, but out of respect for my entire community, I have the mask on right here, at least below my mouth. So let's move on. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work the mid section. By the way, it's very important. Please, before you start an exercise program, a fitness workout program, consult with your doctor for either yourself, the parent, the caretaker, a therapist, or for your kids. Now, let's start with circuit training. Circuit training is basically a series of workouts and a certain amount of either seconds or repetitions. And you can use weights or you can use total body, like basically the way I am doing this, or maybe some objects, okay? And as you will see, I'm only gonna do one round because if I have to do two to three rounds, then obviously we're doing a one hour video or an hour and a half video. But not, in this case, this is more like for you to work out, more for like instruction, position planks. This works your mid section right here. And you look straight forward. So we're doing seven seconds. One, two, three, breathe in and out. Four, can shadow. You can shadow doing this uh, this uh, plank workout by holding them right here around their waist, holding the individual like this. If they have to put their knees on the ground, that's perfectly fine. Instructing them and teaching them how to do these workouts is key because it's awesome for their cognition. Okay, rainbows. So you're working the shoulders and upper body. For this one, it's the shoulders, shoulder muscles. For this one, same thing, shoulders. These are called rainbows, but you're doing upper body. What we're gonna do, arm rotators. We just did the, the planks, push-up position planks. <sighs> breathe, make sure you breathe. Breathing is very important when you're training, working out, warm-ups, even stretching when you're playing sports because if not, your blood pressure goes high. So what's the next one? Knee raises for the stomach, all right? We're gonna do 10 knee raises. Doesn't matter what you start off with, right or left. One, two, three. Lower stomach muscles, a little bit of the midsection, and the hips, and some of the leg, upper leg muscles. Four, five, six. We're gonna do a little bit of power and strengthen the bones. We're gonna do a 10 second jump. One, two, three, four, but then work on straight up four raises. This works part of the chest and also the shoulders. Straight up, four raises. You can do 10 of these. Two, three, seven, eight. Do an extra. This is isometric contraction. Hold. Which, by the way, is awesome to improve sensory touch in a lot of special needs individuals, mainly those of autism. This is a circuit training. Now imagine doing three to five rounds of this. Of course, it's a lot for a first time. Individual that's starting a workout. We're gonna do some legs now. I wanna get a little creative here. So let's say for example, I'm gonna add a little bit of resistance. Obviously I'm not adding anything. I'm only adding a half a pound each cold. That's if they're a half a pound. But if you add some resistance, it makes the workout even more challenging. We're gonna do tippy toes, high heel raises. You're gonna go one, you're gonna do two, we do 10 of these. Three, four, remember with the reps, 10. And if it's too challenging, if it's too much, then start off with five to six. It's okay, you make the decision. Seven, eight, so you're working the lower calf muscles, okay? One of the muscles is called the soleus muscle, and it connects all the way to the midsection. Remember, then you do the high toe raises. One, right here. This is a muscle right here that, uh, I remember, I, I forgot the name of it. 
I would like to say that it's in the interior tibialis muscle, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's this muscle right here. Front part of the lower leg. To the, you move your butt back a little bit if you have to do it. Make sure you point to the toes right here. Keep the feet straight together. When you're doing the high heel raises or the high toe raises. So you need to we're gonna work the quad muscles. Now, my workout, of course, is lunges. Okay, lunges. But, a lot of special needs individuals can't do lunges. So what do I do? Modified squat. This case, do them for 20 seconds, minimum. Everything else is 60 seconds. It becomes challenging if you do 60 seconds here. But we're going to do reps. We're going to go and do modified squats. You see the bench right here? You have a chair. It works out perfectly fine. So you do one. You're working the quad muscles, the different types of muscles in the quads, the whole entire quad muscle group. Two, we're going to do the neural fitness. So neural fitness is this. You can use water bottles like I mentioned. Basically, you're working the midsection, but you're also working the mind, trying to improve coordination, reaction time, and cognition. So you go here, one. Right hand, two. You gotta think quickly, what hand? Right or left? Left hand, right hand. I'll do a, so now we're gonna do a stretch. I'm gonna show you a couple of stretches. This is the cool down. What to do is to sit and reach. Now, I'm gonna sit here and put my two feet forward. You can shadow your child or your client or the individual you take care of. A lot of them are not gonna go all the way down. It's impossible. So what you do is you push them, put your hand below the neck, push them, out a little, push them down a little bit, try to hold, press their knees down and try to see how far they go. If they can only go this far, that's fine because they are getting a good stretch regardless of what you might think. The key here is you gotta push your knees down and you gotta, pull, you gotta push them down. 15 seconds minimum, 30 second max stretch. Breathing. Feet together. You can stretch the neck. Get their hands, put it behind your head. You help them. Then, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, start slow. Thank you for listening and watching my uh, video.